it's uh, it's it's a great feeling right now uh, to say uh, that we're state champions uh, and get this get this done. Uh, these guys deserve it. They they worked very hard for this. It's an emotional end of the first game, obviously. How do you yes. kind of get? everybody back and focused and where they need to be to play and play well in the second half. I've told them before when you win games you got to quickly turn the page and I use that phrase a lot but I used it out there and I said if someone said to you a month ago that you'd be able to play for a state championship do or die game would you take it? And yeah, I take it in a heartbeat, you know, so that's the position we put ourselves in. We lost the game, but we still could come back and win a state championship, and that's what it was about. That's all we were concerned about was seven innings of good baseball to finish off our season, and if we did that, we're going to be state champs. And um, when that last out was made, what a feeling. What, a, what an absolute what an absolute great feeling, uh, something that can be never taken away from these guys, and, and uh, they're a group that's left their impression on this great tradition of Milford Legion baseball. Today, we were resilient. That first game didn't end up the way we wanted it to, but hey, fought back and that was a great W of the second one and feels good to be a champ. How tough is it for you not to play? Uh, it was obviously tough, but like I said, everybody up, I, you have trust in your teammates and Cam Cassette stepped up big, he had a nice couple of catches. At the end, he made a great catch, so hey. It is what it is, and we won the championship. That's all that really matters, right? <laughs> what did Coach say to you in particular? I know you guys were talking, obviously, on the way back to the dugout after, after the first one. Um, just <laughs> stay up, and uh, it is what it is right now at this point, so just kind of get over it, and uh, all you can do is cheer your heart out, because that's all I could do. And uh, hey, I want to thank all these guys, Matt, Matt Frelly, a good friend of mine. All these guys, we, we've grown complete bonds with all these people, and I don't know. We're a family. Danny, what are you thinking? Thank you. Going. Dan Avery had an outstanding performance from the bullpen tonight. Huge reason to win, that we were able to win this game, and then David Sampson coming in to lock it down in the seventh. Done it all season long for us. Uh, converted every save opportunity for us this whole season, and it's just been an outstanding performance, uh, performer for us outside out, out of the bullpen. You talk about uh, Kevin uh, winning uh, MVP, and uh, obviously he had a big hit for you guys in this game yeah, too. Yeah, he's come up with big hit after big hit, and it's it's coming up. It's coming with people on base. You know, and you got to have guys that are uh, that are able to come up in, in big situations with the big time hits. And Kevin Martinez has done that for us throughout this whole season. And a big hit tonight that tied the game and, and the error that got by the, the left field allowed for Ellie to come around and score for that eventual uh, winning run. Uh, but again, putting the ball and play hard is, is what we preach. And Martinez deserves it. Again, after his pitching performance last night as well against Braintree, mm -hmm. um, he definitely deserves that MVP of this tournament. Kevin, can you talk about uh, you had that the two run uh, single there and uh, ended up being a, a big hit for you guys. I just and my fastball, and basically, that's what I had. And I got lucky with a short third out. Uh, in this angle, I like this. It's the best, you know. Had those runs around. And, uh, it's one of those ones you get lucky, but, you know, that's what you need sometimes. Yeah. Uh, do you think the the kid from the other team was starting to get a little tired after going the first oh, yeah, game? Just for sure. I've never <laughs> seen this happen before. Never heard of it. But at 85, thank you, Dan. But, you know, the kid's crazy. He battles a lot. Props him a lot. Yeah. And the uh, the bats got going a little bit before you, too, with McMillan and, and Antoni. And, and it was it just sort of momentum there, or, or did you just see a good pitch? Play. That's what we do. Every time something gets up, we get going. We don't get down. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, what would it mean to you to, to win this state title after uh, kind of in jeopardy? there after, after the first game. I don't even know what to say. It's huge. It's my part. Coach Mag is a great guy. He's one of the greatest coaches around, if not the best. You know, it's, just, it's just huge for us right now. It's just crazy. We were here in the final late last year, and I, I told everyone I've talked to that the experience of that game, or that, or that, excuse me, that tournament, being there before, it, you understand the emotions, you understand what it's going to be and what it's going to take to get it done. And that's what it came down to this this time this time through. We understood that it was going to be emotional and there's going to be calls that we're not going to like. And we got to be able to handle that the right way and stay focused on the ultimate goal, which is to be the last team standing. And um, you learn from experience, and this team did. And heartbreak last year. Uh, we're just so excited tonight, and, and that's what it's about.